Your smart lights can improve your health. Watch till the end to make your lights really smart. Your body has a circadian rhythm, which is basically its internal clock. It regulates your sleep-wake cycle, and as a human, your circadian rhythm is tremendously influenced by the lighting you expose your body to. Our eyes detect light and dark cycle within our environment and send signals by releasing hormones that make us want to sleep or wake up depending on the sun's position. In fact, without access to external light, your body will be completely desynchronized and you will feel tired all the time. Jet lag is a perfect perfect example of the consequences of a desynchronized circadian rhythm. Your body also produces different hormones depending on the light it's exposed to. A cold white lighting will make your body release cortisol, which is the stress hormone that keeps you awake. Notice how in hospitals the lights are almost blue, it helps the staff staying awake and alert. Ever use your phone at night and felt unable to fall back to sleep afterwards? Your phone emitting a very cold blue light made your body believe it was daytime and released cortisol. On the other side, a warm white will make your body produce melatonin, which is the sleep hormone. So if you have no Normal bulbs at home, they have fixed color and it's basically telling your body that time throws at a certain hour. For this reason, it's very important that you set your lights to follow the position of the sun in order to improve your sleep, mood and overall well-being. For example, at noon, your lights should be at their brightest with a cold white color, whereas toward 8 p.m. your lights should be warmer with 60% of their brightness. Thankfully, there are softwares that can do this for us automatically. I'm gonna show you three ways to set up adaptive lightning in your smart home. The first solution is by far my favorite one, it's the custom component adaptive lightning for home assistant. It synchronizes your lights color and brightness using the sun's position and it has a ton of customization settings. To install it, simply go on the home assistant community store, download the repository, restart home assistant and we're ready to configure it. Add the integration and here we have a ton of options to play with. First, put all the lights you want the system to automatically control. Then you can set the transition between each color and brightness. 45 seconds is very smooth so I will keep it this way. Then the interval at which it changes color, 90 is nice. Then the minimum and maximum brightness. I will keep the maximum at 100% but for the minimum, approaching midnight the system tends to set the lights very dark so I raise this value to 30%. You also have the minimum and maximum color temperature which is basically the power of the light in kelvins. A lower value tends to warm yellow whereas higher value tends to cold blue. A cool feature here you can even set a sleep mode with settings for default brightness and color. And finally here's my favorite thing about this plugin. The takeover control feature which basically disables the plugin when you control your lights manually. This is pure gold. It means that you don't have to manually go and disable the plugin every time you want to set your lights in a certain way for a party or anything. Click submit and you're good to go. The second solution is if you're using a system like Philips Hue for your lights. You can directly go into the app and tap natural lights for your lights. It's fast and easy. Apple Home offers a similar solution. If you go into the app you may see this pop-up adaptive lightning now available. Click on it, select all the appropriate lights and you're done. The third solution is a manual one if you don't have Home Assistant or any any system that allows you to set up adaptive lighting. You need to create an automation that will set up the lights color and brightness depending on the time of the day. I wrote a template detailing the optimal color and brightness settings for every time of the day. You can find it for free in my Discord, the link is in my bio. We will do this with Google Home but you can easily do it with any other assistant. Let's start by creating an automation based on time or sunrise sunset depending on what you want to do. Let's say we're doing the 6 to 9 a.m. time frame. Select the impacted lights and set the brightness and color accordingly. Here we can't really specify the precise color but try to get as close as possible. I believe warm white is close enough here. Then you can go on and create an automation for each time frame. And that's it. Now your smart lights are really smart. There are a ton of ways a smart home can improve comfort and health. Tell me in the comments how your smart home improves your well-being and don't forget to follow me for real smart home content. See you soon.